to determine the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water. Ice is the solid form of water. Melting point of a solid is the fixed temperature at which a solid changes in its liquid state. Once a solid attains its melting temperature, the temperature remains same until the entire solid converts to liquid. The fixed temperature at which a liquid changes into its vapor state is known as its boiling point. Once a liquid attains its boiling point, the temperature remains same until all the liquid changes into its vapor. The temperature at which pure water boils to form steam is called boiling point of water. Ma'am, how can we determine the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water? The melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius at 1 atmospheric pressure or at a pressure of 760 mm of mercury. The melting point of ice decreases if pressure is applied on it and on addition of soluble substances such as common salt, nitre, etc. The boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius at 1 atmosphere. That is, the vapor pressure of water becomes equal to atmospheric pressure at 100 degree Celsius at sea level. Let's do an experiment to determine the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water. Our aim here is to determine the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water. The materials required are to determine the melting point of ice, ice cubes, filter paper, beaker, wire gauze, tripod stand and burner, thermometer, turrer, clamp stand. Procedure Take a beaker and fill it up to half with ice cubes formed from distilled water. Place the beaker on a wire gauze kept over a tripod stand. Suspend the thermometer into ice cubes with the help of clamp stand. Heat the ice cubes and stir it for uniform heating. Note the temperature when the ice starts melting. T1. Heat continuously till the ice melts completely. Note this temperature. T2. Plot a graph between time and temperature after the completion of experiment. Observation. Temperature when ice starts melting is equal to T1. Temperature when ice completely melts is equal to T2. Melting point of ice is equal to T1 plus T2 divided by 2. Result. The melting point of ice is equal to X degree Celsius. Precautions. Ice should not contain water before using for melting point measurement. The bulb of the thermometer should be dipped in ice and should be surrounded on all sides by ice. Maintain uniform temperature by continuous stirring. Temperature should be measured by keeping check on the level of mercury. To determine the boiling point of water, the materials required are a round bottomed flask of 250 ml fitted with two hold stopper and pumix stones, glass beaker of 100 ml, a wire gauze, a tripod stand, thermometer, glass rod, iron stand, Bunsen burner, magnifying glass, distilled water, stopwatch, pumice stone pieces. Procedure Take approximately 125 to 150 ml water in the round bottom flask and close its mouth by using a two-hold stopper. Fix a thermometer in one of the holes of the stopper and fix a glass tube in another hole of the stopper. Place the wire gauze on a tripod stand and keep the flask over it. Start heating the water with the Bunsen burner. Note the temperature when water starts boiling. Heat continuously till the temperature becomes constant and water keeps on boiling. Note this temperature. Record your observation. Observation Temperature when water starts boiling is equal to T3. 
temperature when water continues to boil is equal to T4. Boiling point of water is equal to T3 plus T4 divided by 2. Result. The boiling point of water is equal to X degree Celsius. Precautions. Use distilled water only. Impure water and hard water have the boiling point greater than 100 degrees Celsius. The bulb of the thermometer should be slightly above the liquid. Add pumice stone pieces before heating to avoid bumping. Heat water by rotating the flame. Note the temperature by keeping the eyes in line with the level of mercury. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.